This is the Movo WebMic HD Pro, and if you looked at it in the past, you know, it started out as a Kickstarter campaign for around $250 to get the microphone with webcam, with ring light. Now you can get it for just $50 on their site or on Amazon.com. And you'd think that with the bad reviews that you might read on Amazon.com or with the low price going from $250 to $50, that this would be a terrible camera and a terrible microphone, but it actually isn't. So today I'm gonna to actually review it, take a look at it, you can see footage, and stick around till the end, because I'm gonna show what it looks like completely default with low lights, just to see what the camera can do and the microphone can do in kind of its default environment without any of the studio lighting that I normally have, so stick around. Okay, so I've got the Movo WebMic HD Pro. Let me just tour the device itself. Uh, honestly, the build quality isn't amazing. It's pretty plasticky. It kind of feels like a child's toy in terms of its uh, outward presence. But, you know, the, the microphone itself has quite a few great capabilities. I mean, it's more or less kind of the capabilities you would expect from a nice streaming or podcasting microphone. It's USB-C in the back. It has a monitoring uh, port for headphones. You can um, you can control the ring light with this button back here. You can also control the camera and stop the camera with this button back here. Um, the side of it has a microphone gain knob so that you can turn the microphone up to the level that you want. And from the monitoring aspect for your headphones, you've also got individual monitoring. It uses a condenser microphone with a cardioid pickup. It also comes with, by the way, some mounting equipment. So if you want to mount it to your monitor, there's actually an included stand that you can use to mount the camera. And uh, there's a privacy cover for the camera itself. If you want a physical privacy cover on there, removable with a strap that you can apply to the camera. So what doesn't come with it and kind of, I would say, some uh, downside to this camera slash microphone slash ring light is that there's no software for it. So you have to use software like OBS or Teams or the built-in Windows camera controls in order to control the camera. If you're running on a Mac, you have to download a special camera app for that because there's not gonna be anything that's from Movo directly that will enable you to tweak the camera. So I've actually tested the camera, the microphone. So I'm gonna give you a look at what that looks like. And again, stick around to the end because I'm gonna show you all the default settings and what it looks like in low light just using the ring light from the camera. Okay, so this is the Movo all-in-one webcam microphone. You can see that I'm actually using the microphone on the camera. It has the ring light set to the third setting. Let me just toggle through a few of those. Hopefully I don't make it too shaky. That's with it off and that's just using my normal key light. That's setting one, so it's very low. Setting two and setting three. So it's a bit brighter. I actually think it doesn't look too bad in terms of lighting. But let me go through some of the settings because I did have to tweak the image just a little bit in terms of this Movo camera and from an audio perspective I think it's actually pretty clean given that it's about mm, two and a half or so feet from my mouth. It sounds pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up Movo and the properties. Now I'm gonna show you what things have been configured for this camera. So let me just resize that window a little bit. And I will go through configure video. And that's actually put it over on the screen. So let me go grab it. All right, so uh, first thing I had to do actually was turn the exposure uh, auto exposure off. When you turn on auto, auto exposure, it makes things very bright, very hot. I would say when you go off auto exposure, it's actually a pretty good image. And then on the camera itself, just to look at some of the settings, uh, I've got the I've got the con contrast at 35, hue at 10, saturation at 75, sharpness at 4, gamma at 89. Using the automatic white balance, uh, if you turn that off, bad things tend to happen. I like the Incredible Hulk right now. Turn it back on, that looks a lot better. And if I go ahead and hit OK, it's gonna freeze for a second, I think. Um, and it will apply any settings. Now the camera, as you can see, uh, I'm using a custom setting. By default, it goes into a four by three mode, which is probably native to the sensor. I'm doing 1920 by 1080 highest um, FPS. 
Um, the only video formats are YUI2 and MPEG. I can try YUI2 and see if that even works. Usually that doesn't work on a camera like this, at least at the resolution that I want. So we'll give that a try. It looks like it's probably lagging out a little bit in terms of the frame rate, but YUI2 is usually a little bit better setting if you can do it. So I'll go back to MPEG because I don't want it to lag out that much. I need the um, audio and the, and the movement to match what I'm doing. Uh, color space, uh, it's got the couple of options, 709, 601, 2100 and uh, color range, limited, full, or default. Uh, you can do things like flip it and kind of the standard stuff in OBS. So from there, I'm just gonna hit okay. Now you can see the camera. So I'm actually recording both uh, through Camtasia and the screen. Now let me go ahead and show you what I've got set up in terms of the filters from OBS on the camera because I did a little bit there as well. So I turned sharpness up just a little bit, up to 0 0.6, just to sharpen the image a little bit. If I turn that off, you can kind of see what that looks like. That's turned off. I'll turn it back on. And then I will go into color correction because I made a couple of tweaks there as well. The image to me looked a little bit first on the yellow, then on the pink side. So I did some... I did some hue shift uh, going to the pink side. Then I did color correction on it to get it to look more like natural skin tones and to get the kind of the whites and the blues in the background to match real life. Um, gamma contrast, those are pretty small tweaks that I made there, but it was mainly the color because it was either a, a bit too much on the saturation side, made my nose very pink. Um, in fact, I'll go to the defaults just so you can see it. I think I can do, there we go, I'm back to the kind of yellow. Let me see if I if the control Z function works in OBS. Yes, it does. Okay, so now I can go back to what that looks like uh, in terms of uh, my settings that I applied to it. So it's a bit more natural in terms of skin tones um, and, and the blues and the whites and, and the things behind me. Now, the nice thing is I listened to it in advance in terms of audio, and I would say the microphone on this camera is very solid. I'm going to pause this video and see what happens when I turn off my main key light that you can't see that's just out of frame here to see if this actually gives me enough light to where it's a decent camera. The one thing I did notice is it is kind of a larger camera and much better than the ring lights that I've tried on other uh, ring light included webcams. Let's give that a try. Just... Bear with me for a second, I'm gonna pause. Okay, I'm pausing the camera, and this is 100% only the ring light on the camera. I don't have my key light turned on. Just to get an idea, let me just go through some of the light settings here. And I do have a little bit of overhead lighting, but there it is off, so you can see the, the difference is pretty, pretty radical. That's setting one, setting two, and I would say on setting three, it looks pretty good. I, I, I gotta say, I'm I'm a lot more impressed, you know, compared to some of the. I read a lot of the res reviews on Amazon, and it was really uh, negative for this camera. But I gotta say, it's doing pretty well. This is the Movo All-in-One with Movo microphone, ring light, and the 1080p camera that's included with the tweaks that I just showed you. Okay, before I wrap up recording, I wanted to show you all of the default settings on the camera and the microphone, just so you have uh, a view of what that looks like. I thought that the camera was pretty overexposed in normal lighting, uh, you know, studio lighting with the, with a key light. It turns out, you know, when it's in low light situations like it is right now, where basically the only light coming uh, on my face is the camera's light, the ring light. Now it's in brightness position one, and I think that's actually the closest you know to natural colors uh, for me but no other lights are pointing uh, this direction onto me so the camera is actually optimized I think for a fairly dark environment just using the built-in ring light and so it looks it looks pretty good out of the box I gotta say if, if you're using the camera like this um, you don't have to tweak it too much I mean I would probably tweak it a little bit in terms of settings but these are all the defaults here default microphone, default camera, just so you can get an idea of what this looks like out of the box. And let me just show you, before I go, the other light settings so you can see them. This position one, 
that's position two. Oops. Position three, which is a bit bright. And that's with it turned off altogether, which isn't bad actually when the exposure is set to where it's at. So I think just a little bit of light um, makes it look a little bit better. So that was the Movo WebMic HD Pro. Again, surprised me, especially given you know the radical decrease in price and what you can get for just $50 right now. It's not the best camera that I've ever tested. I would say it's, it's passable in that sense, but it is probably the best microphone that I've tested in a webcam. And I would argue and say that it includes even the, the microphone plus webcam combination that is the Zoom Q2N, which probably has the best microphone built in. But this gives it a run for its money. Uh, it doesn't record you know, to SD media and have a battery uh, powered mode like the Zoom Q2N does. But in terms of just a all-in-one microphone slash camera slash ring light, I think this thing's pretty amazing at $50 and it has its faults, but you know, for the for the price performance, you're not gonna get any better than this. And otherwise you're gonna have to buy separate components for your camera, your light, and your microphone. If you put this on a microphone arm, it's gonna be a pretty much perfect setup because if it's a wide angle lens, you can have the microphone be a foot and a half or you know, two feet from your mouth probably and in the right frame and you're gonna look good, you're gonna sound good, and if you're streaming or doing Teams or something that doesn't expect anything higher than a 1080p or even a 720p image, it's going to be able to compete with most web cameras out there today. So again, the Movo WebMic HD Pro all-in-one, I think it's probably the best deal that's out there at the moment right now if you wanna get started and need the lights, the camera, and the microphone, and this does it all in one box. So I was kind of surprised about this one, but hopefully uh, this gives you some value. Uh, this, is, this is what I like to do. I like to review cameras so that you don't have to do it. And uh, if, you, if you like the video, please be sure to give me a like. Otherwise, subscribe to my channel, and we'll see you soon.